Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, how do they feel? Okay, so the person on your mind for this reading, how do they feel at this time? Always keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. So today we have three tarot decks and three crystals to choose from. For crystal number one, we have the Celestite Crystal with the Mystical Manga Tarot. For crystal number two, the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Anime Tarot. And for crystal number three, the Green Fluorite Crystal with the Traditional Manga Tarot. Okay, so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Celestite Crystal and the Mystical Manga Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number one. So today we are asking Spirit, how do they feel? Okay, so let's see for crystal number one, please. How does their person feel? For crystal number one, how does that person feel? Hmm. They feel like you're the right one for them. They feel like you are a good match, a good fit. You're the right one. They also want to do the right thing by you with this being the noble one. So they really want to treat you with respect and kindness. Treat you right. Very nice energy. So this person really respects you as well. Let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number one. First one out. Five of cups. They feel like they've disappointed you in some way. Um, I'm noticing here that there's three cups spilled over and two cups standing behind them. It's like they're not noticing um, the love between you at times. They're kind of focusing on what's lost and not what they really truly have here okay hmm what's lost and not what they have so at the heart I feel like they have you they know they love you they know you love them but at times they're focusing on the negative like they're focusing on like things from the past or something like that there okay let's see what else they, you know, they do feel like they disappointed you in some way. So they could be feeling like guilt or something like that. Regrets. Mm. Ooh. Aw. But they love you, King of Cups. Yeah, powerful love. Unconditional love here. Um, they're also feeling like they want to offer you something with this card today. Hmm. So they are wanting to offer you love or maybe express their love too because the King of Cups is very expressive energy. They're very much in their feelings, you know, very wanting to express those feelings. Like they're coming up is what I feel here. Hmm. Okay. Let's get more. For crystal number one, how does their person feel? For crystal number one, please. Oh, you've helped them to heal. This is beautiful. Um, you're a star to them. You are like the one, okay? Definitely feeling like you're the right one for them. You've helped them to heal. This card is such a beautiful healing energy. I feel like the love between you kind of flows and they just love how they feel when they're around you. Mm, very, very nice. Very sweet energy. The way they feel is just like pure innocence here. It's beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. They want to build something solid with you. Yeah, they want to build long term. Could even want family here. 
uh, a family with you, or this could be maybe you both have families and they're wanting to bring it together. Mm, two separate messages there, I feel. General reading. So multiple energies do come through. So for some of you, they may be wanting to build a family. So um, maybe neither of you have children and they want to have children with you. And for some of you, you might be older and have children. Both of you may have children or one of you. Hmm. Coming together, bringing it together, integrating. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So five of cups, why are they, what are they disappointed about or what are they regretting or feeling guilty here? Feeling like they disappointed you. Why does crystal number one's person feel this way, please? How do they feel? Why the five of cups? Why the five of cups, please? There we go. Justice. Oh, wow. So for some of you, they might have been tied up with something else. This card <laughs> always gives me Eight of Swords energy. Um, yeah, it's she has that blindfold on, you know. And she's, in this card, I feel like she's feeling trapped in some way. Um, but justice is, you know, things starting to balance out. So there could be some sort of... Um, situation that they were feeling stuck in, but it's starting to, you know, work itself out. Mm, okay. King of Cups. Why are the King of Cups here? Oops. Five of Swords. Third party. I always get third party energy with this card too. Yeah, it's like the two of you walking off into the sunset here and someone here like kind of holding swords, you know, like not really happy about it. You know, it looks like this person won in this card, but because their swords are on the ground here, but I feel like I always get the third party energy with this, like this person here, they might have fought hard to keep your person, hold on to your person, control your person, but, and they think they've won, but they really haven't because, you know, you two kind of walk off into the sunset together is that's the, how I feel when this card comes through a lot of times, you know, um, and it's on the King of Cups. So it's about them loving you and wanting to release that past, you know, just letting it go. The swords are on the ground, just letting it go and moving on, you know, wow. That could be what justice is here about too. Could be like a divorce. It could even be a marriage here we're talking about. Okay. The star, why the star? For crystal number one, how does that person feel? Why the star? Very beautiful energy of healing. You're their star. You're the one. Ooh, they have a lot of feelings they haven't shared with you either. They had to heal uh, expression. They were fearful of speaking their truth at some point. I just heard there. That's what they might have been working on healing too. It could have been speaking a truth to you, but it could have been speaking a truth in another situation as well. A lot of things were left unsaid um, at times, and now they're speaking up. So this is a good thing you know this is a good sign that things are going to shift if they're using their voice to speak their truth okay let's see how does crystal number one's person feel why the ten of pentacles where'd that card go it flew away we have the two of swords with the four of wands okay Two of Swords flew away, like almost felt like it wasn't the one. Like, I don't know why it went to the left and that one fell right in front of me. But I'm going to take them, I guess, together. It could be that they're making a decision here to commit is what I'm feeling with these two. And especially because it came out on that Ten of Pentacles. Um, the Four of Wands is a big, strong energy of stability and commitment, marriage, you know, um, 
it's a very beautiful energy. Also a very powerful twin flame energy for those of you out there who may be twin flames. Only, of course, you know that if this is your twin flame we're talking about. But making a decision to commit. So they might be feeling, like I said, free now that this, this justice card, you know, freed up from something in their life. It doesn't have to be a third party relationship. However, in this one, I was feeling relationship, but this one, it, it could be anything, you know, and this is a general reading. So it could be a lot of different things, um, for different people out there, but breaking free of something that they were feeling stuck or bound to. Okay. Let's get more. Let's get Oracle cards. How does crystal number one's person feel? That was very fast. Ooh, peace. Nice. So see, they're feeling more peaceful. So this level of peace allows um, someone to make a informed decision, you know, like a decision from a place of knowing deep within that they're doing the right thing for themselves, possibly for you and even this other person. Um, or other situation. Um, because if there's unhappiness somewhere here um, and needing to walk away from it, it is to everyone's highest good to remove yourself from those situations, right? So it, it's to this person's best interest or highest good as well. And to whoever, mm, and to whoever um, they might be walking away from, whether it be a family, a job, friends, uh, you know, a relationship, a marriage, whatever it is desire look at this they desire you yes they do lots of passion for you lots of love lots of passion so they are feeling very drawn to you at this time um you're shining your light is shining very brightly what else thank you we have relax yes and push to any insecurity both cancer how about that so dual cancer energy is coming through here and relaxes that energy of peace. You know, it's, um, handling things with grace, just allowing things to flow, not getting upset, you know, just working through it calmly and effectively and pushing through any insecurities about it. So this is good. They're pushing through any insecurities. So if they were feeling insecure about speaking a truth or anything like that, they're pushing through that and now just speaking that truth because it's the best thing that they can do for themselves and for all involved. Very nice. What else? How does crystal number one's person feel? She who grants wishes, Elise, wish, dreams, and hope. Wow. So they are hoping for a future with you, desiring a future with you, and wishing for that as well. You know, they're really hopeful here. This is beautiful. So they are hopeful. And look where it's falling, right next to the Ten of Pentacles. That is the happily ever after, you know. So they're wishing for it all with you. This is really nice energy. Very, very nice. Let's see what else. How does Crystal Number One's person feel? We have two here. Songbird, I can see. They flipped. So what do we have? Songbird. And floating castle. Hmm. So songbird, a message arrives upon the wind. So you might be hearing from this person. They might be feeling like calling you or texting you, messaging you. Um, there's some sort of contact that they're planning here, I feel. They we're feeling quite expressive here too. So floating castle, you are ascending to a higher state. Nice. So the vibration between you is rising. Um, both of you more high vibrational. So this can, you know, really bring it together. This is good. You know, more in alignment. Wow. So feeling like happy, joyful, blissful, at peace with where they're at, you know, relaxing through it. This is really good. Really, really good energy. Let's get more. How does crystal number one's person feel? 
How does crystal number one's person feel? Please. Ooh. <laughs> what is all this? We have a few that all flipped over. <laughs> ah, I'm having trouble because I have so many cards. <laughs> a big mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have, wow. Inner child, family and tribe, and temptation. Whew. So inner child, I'm feeling this is happiness, that joyful, blissful, what I was just talking about, that energy they're feeling of joy and bliss and happiness. It's their inner child is so happy right now. Wow. Okay. So I also feel that whatever expression, remember how I said they were healing something with expression? I feel like it has something to do with child inner child wounds okay from from when they were children um my throat completely clogged up just now for no like literally in a second it just <laughs> so i feel like they definitely were healing something to do with expression um and it's from when they were a child speaking up about something you know family and tribe so they feel like your soul tribe, okay? They definitely feel like you belong together, that, you know, you're really well suited for one another. And temptation, you could be dreaming of them. They could be dreaming of you. I feel like you're definitely connecting in the higher realms here. Um, and they're very tempted by you. They have so much desire and passion for you. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number one, please. How does their person feel for crystal number one? <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because I think we got three again. I think this time they fell out, but yet yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, sometimes they fall in a way that I can't tell how many there are. Um, the temple path. This is about, wow, look at to my next place right next to the marriage card. This card always gives me marriage type of vibes, okay? They know they're on the right path. They know that you're the one, so they, they want commitment because they know that this is forever, okay? So they feel like you are their person. And a woman holding a coin, they feel like you're very stable, very strong. You're a solid, um, you know, energy in their life. They feel like you can accomplish anything you desire, you're very powerful, very powerful and healing too. Your energy is very healing. Um, second chakra. So we're talking sacral chakra here and Archangel Ariel visiting you in your reading. So I feel like they have healed some sort of wound here uh, in the past. So there, and this could be brought about by your interaction because we have the star energy there. Okay, um, so they might have been working, doing chakra work, clearing their chakras, clearing their energy, things like that. That's really kind of making them feel a whole lot better um, and more clear. Their energy lighter, happier, in a higher, you know, vibration. We had that card come out too. This is very nice energy. Ooh, very nice. They're wishing for you. Wish upon a star. They're holding their heart, feeling that love very strongly for you. Um, their heart chakra shining out here. So beautiful. Um, they're really feeling a lot. And look at how this is a beautiful like child, right? In this, see, it's like they've healed that inner child. They're happy. They're joyful. They're feeling so much love. They're wishing for you. They're wanting to come together. It's so beautiful opening their heart to you. Lots of messages coming through there today. All right, let me get you some message cards from them as well. I'm trying to think which ones I forgot, which ones I moved them. Yeah, so much stuff has been going on here. So I'm <laughs> like, where did I put them? Okay, so we'll use these message cards today for crystal number one. What would their person like to say to them at this time, please? How do they feel or what would they like to say for crystal number one? I have a flipper. First one. I am looking forward to starting over with a clean... Oh, look at that. And I'm putting it right here. 
Looking forward to starting over with a clean slate. Remember how I said that they feel like they hurt you in some way. So they are looking forward to starting fresh. What else would Crystal Number One's person like to say, please? Or how do they feel? How do they feel? Or what would they like to say? For Crystal Number One, please. I think about you all the time. So you're always on their mind, even when you're not, you know, together. Always on their mind. Oh, sometimes I feel I have ruined everything. Yeah, there's that regret, that guilt and regret here. Um, looking forward to starting fresh, though, so I feel like these two coming out, I feel like that could mean an apology, okay? Coming, like they might be wanting to talk or apologize. Express how they're truly feeling. They might not have done that yet. I can't explain what I feel when I look into your eyes. Wow. So they love looking in your eyes. It's so powerful. The intensity between you is strong. Very beautiful. All right, Crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that you found this reading helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the Rose Quartz Crystal, and the Anime Tarot, this will be your reading, okay, crystal number two. So today we are asking Spirit, how do they feel, okay? So let's see, how does crystal number two's person feel at this time, please? Crystal number two's person, please. How do they feel? I think two together Ooh, on the threshold of sharing your wisdom hmm. so you might be um, big communication might be coming is what I'm feeling here big transformation and communication so they're feeling like they want to talk and they're feeling like they want to move something forward transform this connection okay so it's pretty powerful pretty powerful especially that sharing your wisdom card it's it's very deep talk i feel how does crystal number two's person feel please how does crystal number two's person feel at this time please three of pentacles wanting to work together okay so they're wanting to resolve something or talk about something, working together on something. You could also, these are general readings, you could also work with this person. King of Pentacles, hmm. Yeah, this could be, they're very stable, feeling more stable, King of Pentacles. So they, you could be working with them or they could just want to work together, meaning energies working together toward a common goal not necessarily having anything to do with work. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's a little bit of both because this is a general reading. So, wow. <laughs> we have a fancy cartwheeler here. Oh, my goodness. Ten of Cups. And it came out so fancy. Oh, I love that. So Ten of Cups is about, you know, the happily ever after. This is beautiful. This is feeling very heart fulfilled, um, wanting marriage, family, you know, the whole shebang, it's beautiful. This person really loving you very deeply. Mm, very powerful. Could be a divine connection for some of you too. Mm, okay, what else? Eight of Swords. Mm, a little bit of anxiety overthinking going on though, okay? So they're feeling stable as the king of pentacles here there's someone here feeling very stable they feel like there's a lot of love between you wanting to work together sharing your wisdom threshold i feel like that could be you know collaborating on something together right working toward a common goal um doesn't mean it has to do with career or business it could have to do with life 
Um, but there's Eight of Swords there is some sort of feeling of anxiety, overthinking. Okay, let's see. How does Crystal Number Two's person feel? Like they've disappointed you in the past. Hmm. Yeah, there's something here about abandonment here. This person might have walked away. Can I get another one, please? Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So wanting to work, they might have walked away in the past. They're not wanting to do that now. They're wanting to work together. Yeah, and make your wishes come true. Nine of Cups, okay. I was like, why is this? But it, I think it's because they've walked away from you or there's been some sort of disconnect. And of course, that might not be for everyone, but um, now they're wanting to bring it together and they're not wanting to go separate ways. In other words, they want to stay together, work together toward a common goal, toward wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. So I feel like you both have the same wishes, desires, and dreams for the future. And they're really wanting to work together toward those dreams. Mm. You both might have had the same dream in the past, but they might have like abandoned ship, you know? They might have just um, pulled away from the connection in some way or something like that. Hmm, okay. King of Pent... <laughs> Aw, so sweet. King of Pentacles and man, did that King of Cups really jump out. He, they love you, okay? And I say he because it's a king, but it doesn't have to be a man. Your person loves you. Um, king of Cups is a powerful, unconditionally loving energy. Um, feeling very emotional about it too. Hmm. I'm noticing like, it looks like waves down here. You see all the emotion here? Um, feeling very emotional about you. Hmm. Wanting stability, wanting this connection to be strong and stable. Okay, very nice. Ten of Cups. So let's see what this Ten of Cups is all about. This is a beautiful energy of complete heart fulfillment, happily ever after. Um, you know, marriage could be a divine connection also coming through there for someone. Two of Wands, planning next, ooh, planning next steps toward that. So that could be what they're wanting to work together with you on, you know. Um, two of Wands, they might be feeling like together we can accomplish this, you know. Wow, this is beautiful. They feel like together you're, you're a solid force. Lots of love. Very passionate about you as well, I'm hearing. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so investment in the future. Hmm. Giving them anxiety. Eight of Swords. Can I get another one? Thank you. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. So in the past, okay, um, this might be something that your person's working through healing. Okay, because in the past, what's happened here is they've invested in the future and they were in non-reciprocal situations. Okay, so it's giving them a little bit of anxiety um, because it's it's like a trigger came up for them. Um, something from their past that they're having to look at, you know. Um, when they invested or worked towards something with someone else possibly in the past, it wasn't very reciprocal. So they put a lot of time and energy and effort into something and it didn't work out. Um, so they were kind of, they're, they're in the head about it a little bit, but I feel like they're working on it um, because we have the King of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like we're definitely, they're definitely more stable than in the past. So they might have been really heavily overthinking this in the past. And now they're, it's still present in their energy right now. And it's about the investment into the future. But they're feeling, I feel more stable at this point than they have in the past. You know, that could have been the trigger that made them distance here too. This five of cups, they might have felt like, wow, crystal number two is someone I would love to build something with. 
and then they had this thought pop in. Oh, but what if it's like, you know, the last person or whatever it is, not necessarily the last person, but someone from their past. What if it's a repeat, you know, and it's their ego, like trying to scare them to protect them from, you know, whatever (laughs) themselves, but really they have to follow their heart, you know, and I feel now they are following their heart. And I say that because we have the nine, 10 and the king of cups here. They're following their heart and they're trying to stop that overthinking because that one thought I feel in the past, that might've been what scared them here. That one thought could have spiraled into more and more and more. And then they just felt so triggered. They're like, I'm not going to invest in this. No way, no way, no way. And they ran away. You know, they took off abandoned ship, (laughs) Um, as I put it earlier, which I feel like, you know, the way the words come out can also be relevant to you guys. So, you know, I feel like that might have been a relevant term to someone. But yeah, that could have been what happened in the past. If, of course, you're in a situation where this person distanced from you at some point, now they're wanting to work together toward that wish fulfillment. They feel more stable in the energy. They feel more stable. They know the love is deep with the King of Cups. And they're wanting to work together with you on it. So nothing coming through here. (laughs) All right. Well, there we are. Ooh, illumination and tending the garden. Nice. Illumination and tending the garden. So something coming to light. Wow. Look at how happy and glowy he looks. I feel like they feel like they glow when they're with you. (laughs) Um, And this one's beautiful. Lots of colors. Tending the garden. So, and look, their name is Glow Illumination. I feel like, yeah, you're both kind of glowing at this time. You make this person feel like they glow, you know? Um, They're glowing from the inside when they think about you. Tending the garden, wanting to build something, you know? Again, working toward that future. Ten of Cups, very beautiful. Oh, I put him sideways. Oh, that's interesting. (laughs) wonder if that means something. See, I don't believe in coincidences. That could have meant something too. You'd be surprised how certain things might not mean anything to most of you, but one person will be like, oh my goodness, you know, and it reaches them. This message reaches them because the universe is amazing. (laughs) Anywho, how does crystal number two's person feel? Please. Desire. Yeah, beautiful. So they are feeling, mm, and look at this at the bottom. See, another card of very soon, threshold very soon. And synchronicities too. Okay, so there's signs and synchronicities they're seeing that are letting them know you're on the right track here. This is this is a good match, you know. Um, and look at this. Look at these two cards. They They are so similar. You're a good match for this person. And they're getting signs, letting them know that too. And things are going to shift very soon. And then also we have desire, which absolutely extremely passionate about you. Lots of love for you. Wanting to come together, be together. Oh, I probably could have fit all three. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, so they're feeling a lot. They're feeling... Um, very passionate about this decision as well. You know, this decision to want to work together towards something. What else for crystal number two, please? How does that person feel? Making time for self-love and trust all will be well. Wow. Virgo and Libra. Also, I notice you're getting a lot of cards here. You're getting two, 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 three, two here. So making time for self-love and trust all will be well. So this is good. This is focusing on self, choosing self, okay, Uh, which is the best thing we can do. If we choose what's best for us, then we can be, if we're happy, right, that's our goal is to make ourselves happy. It's not to people please everyone else. Um, So I feel like if they were pleasing other people in the past, um, 
maybe it got them burned, you know? And I don't mean not to ever do that, of course, but to ever try to please anyone else. Um, but, you know, there has to be a balance, right? People pleasing can be really self-destructive. So I feel like this person may have done that in the past, but I don't think they are anymore. They're now going to focus on themselves, meaning, you know, doing the best thing for themselves. Okay. And then trust all will be well. So they're trusting in the universe here too. Um, also self-love is in alignment with love. So that is a good thing because it can, you know, then draw the two energies together, you know? So if you're in alignment with love and they're in alignment with love, bringing those two energies together and they're trusting the universe here. So they are seeing signs and they are trusting that what they're seeing, what they're feeling is all true and real. They're trusting themselves. They know everything's going to work out this time. So, you know, I feel like it's putting the fear of the past to sleep here, you know, letting it go, which is good. We have Mora, she who hesitates. Hmm, that's this here, right? That was that hesitation because of a past situation, but I feel with trust all will be well, I feel like they're about to let this go. So if they haven't yet, I feel like, because this card is saying, you know, they could be still pondering this delay um, in coming forward or working together. I feel like if they haven't yet, they will be soon because they are working on it and they're trusting now. They might not have been in the past, but they are now. Let's get more, because that card also says confidence, you know. Hmm. See? Knew it. Cinders, look at this, right? I knew it. That's exactly what happened to them in the past. It was a codependent relationship, destructive and codependent relationship. Cinders. So they were stuck in a, in the past, or it could be even currently. I mean, it is in their current energy, but I feel like this is someone from their past that burned them, you know, um, or they felt burned. Um, it didn't work out the way they had planned. And that's what it was. It was them, you know, thinking that, you know, it was going to be an equal, um, reciprocity type of situation, equal energy flow. And it was kind of like a one way relationship, you know, it was destructive, um, to them. So they, um, chose to walk away here, you know, but it still kind of haunts their mind a little bit, you know, but they're working through it. They're working through it. Letting go. Ha! I knew it. See, I knew it. The, they are letting it go. That's what I was getting with this one here. They are letting it go. Sorry, fighting with my decks. <laughs> letting go. So they are letting that go. And now, and it's falling right next to that as well. They're letting go of those thoughts, those self-limiting beliefs, those fears that things are going to re repeat and all of that. They're letting it go, working through it and saying, you know what? No, this is worth me moving forward. This is not going to be, yeah, look, they feel like you're their soulmate. This is a card about kindred spirits. So they feel like you are, you know, really suited for one another. Meant to be. Okay, is what I'm feeling here with community. Also, another card about working together, too. You know, the community card can also be about working together toward a common goal. Also, number seven and Capricorn, Aquarius, and Libra coming through. Hmm. Wish upon a star. They're, what? Yeah, wow. This card came through already, this reading. So I think it's amazing that it came through for you too. Because they are. They're wishing for you. They're hoping for, you know, a good outcome this time. They're wanting to open their heart to you with this King of Cups. Beautiful energy of opening their heart. Um, holding on to that heart chakra, just feeling the love very deeply. So they are loving you and wanting to, you know, really build something solid here with you. Really build. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's get some message cards from them. I'm sorry, my I'm still a little disheveled here. My whole space kind of got uprooted and my computer died. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, um, so I'm like looking for cards. Like, what did I do with that one? <laughs> I have always felt like our love was meant to be. See, I told you, they feel like you're the one. They do. They feel like you're fated, you're destined, you know, you're soulmates, you belong together. Oh, I lie awake at night wishing you were next to me. So they are desiring closeness with you here. They're wanting you by their side. They're wanting to wake up with you. Hold you at night. What else, please? What would they like to say? Or how do they feel? Crystal number two's person, please. How do they feel or what would they like to say? I have never loved someone the way that I love you. Wow. So this love is powerful. That could be why they were a little bit afraid too. It's so powerful it scared them. I'm sorry if I hurt you. That was never my intention. See, I do feel for some of you, they may have felt like they hurt you with this Five of Cups. You know, they, they might have, like I said, walked away and, you know, left you wondering what the heck was going on, you know. All right, Crystal number two. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the green fluorite crystal, and the traditional manga tarot, this will be your reading, okay, crystal number three? So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? So let's see for crystal number three, how does that person feel at this time, please? For crystal number three, how does their person feel? How does crystal number three's person feel? Whoa. We have the richness within and a big mess. <laughs> okay. So the richness within, this is a beautiful energy. They're feeling very full. You know, your love fills them up. They're feeling abundant. Very beautiful energy. I feel like they've done a lot of inner work here. Okay. Feeling very much at peace. Um, joyful you know, enjoying time with maybe their animals or their family, people surrounding them. Very beautiful. Lots of different messages there. So for some of you, they might have a lot of animals too, I'm feeling for some of you. And they're really enjoying the company of their animals, their pets, or, you know, someone else. It could just be they work with animals. There's so many messages coming through about the animals. Hmm. Yeah, it could be like a farm, maybe. And they're just feeling so full of love. So abundant. Beautiful. Very nice. So they're feeling a lot of love here. Ooh, we have the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords that flipped out together here. So moving past conflict. Okay. So they're feeling like moving past conflict. Hmm, we'll find out what that's all about in a moment with the clarifiers, but moving past conflict could be something in their life. What is it? Judgment, making a decision. Yeah, they've awakened to something. Hmm, they've realized the need for change. Okay. Realize the need for change. They've awakened to something. They're making some sort of a decision here. How does crystal number three's person feel? So they're feeling more decisive, maybe. Ready to move forward. The Six of Swords is also about the divine stepping in to help this move forward. So whatever it is they're trying to move forward through, I feel like the universe is supporting them. Ooh. They're wanting to follow their intuition. So they're following their heart here. They're feeling like following their heart. Hmm, very interesting. Very nice, beautiful energy. They're feeling like they just know. There's an inner knowing here about you. 
following their heart. Okay, what else? How does crystal number three's person feel? Please. Temperance, more balanced. Yeah, see? So they're coming into balance. That energy there, the richness within, that's kind of what I was getting. It's like a peaceful, harmonious, just flow energy. It's very beautiful. So there could have been some sort of conflict in their life and it was kind of caused, you know, a lot of upheaval in their life. They've decided to move past that is what I'm feeling because there's multiple energies of now peace and calm and following their heart with the high priestess. So this is really, really good if they've chosen to leave this in the past. Okay, so let's see. Six of Swords, Five of Swords. Curious as to what this is. The world. Yeah, com th and it, the way, I don't read reversals, but the way it fell, I feel like they were stuck for a long time. <laughs> I read reversals when I feel it. It's not a reversed energy. It's not what I'm feeling, but the way it came out, I feel like they were feeling stuck for a long time in conflict. Okay, very powerful message there. But this is the completion of that cycle, okay? So they're completing the cycle and they're moving forward now. They're moving past it, okay? Start of a new cycle with the world card. You mean the world to them as well? They feel a lot of love for you, judgment, why judgment? Look at this. They've made a decision. They want their happily ever after. Yeah, they're done dealing with the with the conflict of the past. They want their happily ever after. The Ten of Pentacles, what was I saying about abundance? They're feeling very abundant. This card is not only about abundance of material wealth. This is also about abundance of love. Okay, look at them two in the doorway there, right? So, and it's about family and marriage and commitment it's a very beautiful long-term energy here so i feel like they've made that decision now to move forward i feel like the universe might have helped them out here as well with that six of swords to get over that hump okay because i felt like they were stuck for a while with this world card the high priestess <laughs> flew out yeah oh good page of cups yeah so they're believing now okay page of cups is what i feel this person may have thought like, this is out of my league. This is not going to happen for me. Um, they might have literally had you up on a shelf, you know, on a pedestal somewhere at some point in time is what I'm feeling here. They were dreaming and they were fantasizing, but they were thinking that it was impossible at some point. They're not anymore. Okay. They are now believing. They are now trusting their intuition and following their heart. So they've been dreaming and fantasizing about you and this love that they're feeling for you, wanting long term. Seven of Pentacles. Wow, this is beautiful. Temperance, Seven of Pentacles. This is beautiful, this reading. So this is about investing in the future, you know, feeling more balanced and ready to plant seeds for growth. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So your person, I feel, feels a lot of love for you in their heart. They've been dreaming about being with you for a long time. And I feel like it's for the long term, like they want commitment, they want marriage, you know, they feel like this is a very strong bond. Um, very fulfilling to them, their their heart feels amazing, fulfilled, happy, when they think of you. Um, but they were stuck in something that was kind of keeping them from you is what I feel, but the universe giving them that help that they need to overcome that, you know, get them over that hump, like I said, and help them to move forward. Oh my goodness, the threshold. Was that threshold? It almost came out. Threshold card almost came out, but it didn't. It went back in. But because I noticed it, I feel like it does. I don't, I do feel like it could be soon here especially with that six of swords, they might be saying something soon, coming toward you, making some sort of decision for a happily ever after. This could be asking you, you know, to be with them. This judgment, this decision. We have guardian. Hmm. So they're feeling protective of you. They're feeling very protective of you at this time. Okay. Um, 
they're also feeling divinely protected. Oh, nice. So they are getting support and knowing they're feeling that, you know, with the high priestess. So they are feeling divinely supported. They're wanting to support you and protect you as well. Um, or they're wanting the divine rather to support you and protect you as well. Um, so they're hoping for that for you as well. Very nice. But they are feeling protective. Wow. Protective of you. We have fate here. Yeah, they feel like you're meant to be. They definitely feel like you're the one for them and that you're meant to be. They Again, they were feeling at some point not good enough or that they were just fantasizing like this is a dream that will never come true. But they they weren't realizing the power within. And now I feel like they have with that richness within. They're starting to feel their power and know, okay, that it is possible. It is possible. Oh, there's that flow I was feeling. And we have Gemini, full moon in Gemini. But yeah, they're, real, they're realizing now that it's possible. So they're following their heart. Their heart is leading them to you. You know, they're wanting to decide to come toward you. Mm. Embracing the flow of life. Yeah, full moon in Gemini. So with richness within, I was feeling that. They're kind of feeling at peace and flow and very intemperance too, you know. Very, very nice energy. We have She Who Changes. Transformation. Very nice. Yeah, so big transformation coming. Transformation, change, enchantment. Who, she Who Changes, which is Iris, okay? Um, so there is a transformation happening here. You know, things are shifting and changing in this connection. Definitely a big ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. You know, this falling right near that too. So I feel like it's a big indication of the magnitude of the change that's coming, you know. What else? For crystal number, thank you, three. <laughs> I got a couple here that fell. We have floating castle and fairy lights. Nice. Very nice. So floating castle... You are ascending to a higher state, so they're feeling higher, like more higher vibrational. They're feeling lighter, happier, more joyful. Fairy lights, the path is open to you. Follow it. See, they're on the right path, and the universe is guiding them right down that right path, okay? And they're realizing now that this is the correct path for them, you know? Very nice. And that it is possible, too, because I feel like there was definitely some doubt in your person here. That it was possible with you. You know, they were putting you on some sort of pedestal, thinking like you were out of their league at some point. But they're feeling better about it now. They might have done, like I said, I felt a lot of inner work with that richness within. So I definitely feel like they've done a lot of healing work to kind of get over that hump. Oh, they're dreaming about you, too. Hmm. I just heard very present in my dreams. Hmm. Very present in my dreams. So I feel like for some of you, they could be dreaming about you every night. Okay. Um, lots of dreams going on. You are the person of their dreams. Also the number three for someone. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I'm still fighting with my stuff over here. I had equipment failure, uh, and it caused like a lot of upheaval. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? I had no computer, and like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was, it was quite a mess. But anyway adjacent possibility see so now they're seeing a lot of more doors opening there's a lot of doors open in this you see how all these doors that are opening i feel like you know the higher they vibe the more doors are opening for them so they're starting to see the possibilities of this connection okay they're starting to see the beauty in it they're starting to see that they can accomplish so much with you you know heart fulfillment that is a big 
thing, right? To, to feel like you can finally have heart fulfillment. That's a big accomplishment. And I feel like this person feels like, because a lot of times people think of accomplishments as like material success, but I mean, happiness, right? Feeling love, um, giving love, you know, that is an accomplishment. And I feel like this person, um, if they were in conflict, they might have been, that might have been absent from their life for quite some time, you know? Um, and now they're feeling like, much higher and, you know, lighter and happier and more joyful and more fulfilled within uh, when they think of you and the love that they feel for you. So the doors are just, you know, the universe is like, oh, wow, look at this, you know, crystal number three's person is in this beautiful, loving, happy, joyful energy. Give them more of that, give them more of that, give them more of that, you know, and they're just seeing all these doors kind of opening up for them. Um, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's bringing you guys together, you know, very nice. Well, let's get more. I feel like this, this energy here was so like, it almost felt like private reading. <laughs> Somebody's it's like so tapped in here. It seems so like fast and it just everything just kind of flowed. It almost felt like very direct. So I feel like for somebody, this could be very resonant for you, <laughs> for somebody watching. For others, you know, some of it may resonate and maybe some of it doesn't. But for for someone here, I feel like a lot of this may resonate because I feel like it was so like laser focused. Hmm. A burst of magic. So feeling very magical. Yeah, they feel like this connection is magic, you know, like, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like, wow, you know, they feel amazing. They feel amazing when they even think about it. They do. Mm, very nice. Okay, we're going to get you some message cards too. From this person, please. From crystal number three's person. How do they feel? Or what would they like to say? How does crystal number three's person feel? Or what would they like to say at this time, please? Yeah, we have you are so important to me beautiful so very important to them you're someone that they hold very near and dear to their heart okay someone that they really hold um close you know like i said they're following their heart that richness within they're feeling so much love for you oh. my swow powerful soul connection for someone here my soul that could be why I, I, I do feel like it's very strong and powerful here um that richness within was giving me a lot of strong connection energy my soul longs to be near your soul so this is a powerful soul bond that you're sharing with this person and they feel it very deeply oh ah threshold wanted to come out but here it is look at this I will be coming to you very soon my love so there it is yeah it is very soon you know on the threshold of change big change is coming you know and they're really feeling like they want to move forward past this conflict and this cycle and start this new cycle investing for the future you know oh I'm the one who wants to be with you and it, this is um, a song, Mr. Big, Mr. Big, I'm the one who wants to be with you. Okay, so lyrics from that song, relevant here to someone, okay. Um, I know the song, actually, yeah, I do know that song. Um, mm, so very relevant I believe there, there were an 80s band. I don't know if that like makes a difference, but it's coming through. So for someone, 80s band, maybe that has something, some relevance to you as well. 
Okay. All right, Crystal, number three, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.